Okay, this is where things start to get fun. In this section, we're going to create this kitchen remodel costs worksheet. And this is a fairly basic spreadsheet, but it does a couple of really powerful calculations that become more and more valuable as the volume of your data increases. But even in a small spreadsheet like this, it can save you a lot of time. So what we have in this spreadsheet is column A, which is our materials. So you can see cabinet handles, cabinets, and you'll notice that it specifies, for instance, with the cabinet handles, it says per unit. So that would be per handle, because obviously you're going to have a lot of handles. And then flooring is per square foot, and so on and so forth. In column B here, we have the quantity of each item. So again, with cabinet handles, we have 24 cabinet handles. In column C, we have the cost of each item, which is pretty self-explanatory. And then in column D, we have the total of the cost of each item, plus the grand total for the entire project at the bottom. So we have two calculations or formulas in this spreadsheet. The first one is in the total column. It's a simple product of the quantity times the cost. So when you take 24 handles times $5 each, you get $120. And then we have a calculation that adds all of these totals for each different material using a basic sum formula. I'm also going to show you a little bit of formatting, just some really basic formatting. So you can put these grid lines in and these colors and different sizes for the headings and stuff like that. So to get started, the first thing we would need to do is start a new sheet or a completely new Excel document. To create a new one, we go to File click New, and double click on Blank Workbook. And that brings us to a new blank workbook. So let's create our heading for our spreadsheet, and then in the subsequent lectures, we'll go into every detail of creating this spreadsheet step by step. So first, of course, we'll type in Kitchen Remodel Costs. And the first thing you'll notice is that as I'm typing into that cell, it bleeds into the other cells. And a simple way to fix that is to click off of the cell, click back in the cell, so we're working with the cell and not the text itself. And then we're going to left click and drag over and highlight all four of these cells here. And then we're going to go up to here where it says Merge and Center. This is just a quick way to format the text right where we want it. So I'll click on that. And you'll see now if I click off of this, it's blended those four cells together, and it's centered the heading right in the middle of those cells. Now we can click on that cell, and we'll change the font to a bigger font. I'm going to make it bold, and I'm also going to add some color into the background. There we go. Now it's starting to take shape. And finally, I'm going to make it a little bit taller, just to give it a little more space. So that's how you create a little heading and format it in the first step to creating your kitchen remodel cost worksheet.